Welcome to Outback Outdoors. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos. Oh, we just got to the edge of this basin where we saw the big bull last night. And there's a bull standing in the exact same spot. And I don't know if it's him or not. It's a, it's a really nice bull. He doesn't have any cows. I don't know if that could be a satellite. And if that's a satellite bull, that herd bull's got to be a big dude. And it was amazing because we basically topped over and right away you said, there's a bull. He's stand, yeah, it, he was standing in the, almost the exact same place. Yeah. So what'd you think when you saw him? Because right away, uh, I know Levi and I are thinking, oh, that's a good bull. I knew that he wasn't what I thought he was from two miles away the night before. But you're like, eh, I don't think he's the bull for me. It just didn't get me excited uh, right so, away. What we've got here is a failure to communicate. But we're going to solve that with a little intervention. A little black powder intervention. The situation that arises with Tanner is he's seen multiple bulls. And this bull is a great bull. So we don't have far, maybe half a mile, back around and into another bowl in another drainage. He started coming with his group of cows below us and we had some stunted trees and we made a move actually down, downhill, but it's so open. It's a huge, just willow filled basin and he was kind of coming towards us and we went down to him and we got across the draw and I think the closest I had him was like 320, but then there was just willows between us. Yeah, nothing else you could get closer. And I can't shoot 320 and it was almost dark. We went out to where I saw that big bull yesterday. It ended up glassing him up and he just wasn't quite what we thought. So I decided to come over into this drainage. And walking over here, I told Eric, I'm like, they're probably going to come out of that timber on the that north facing timber. And we got like 200 yards from the edge and we could hear bulls bugling. And we got over here and just watched them come and come and come and come. And finally, big freaking 7 by 6 comes out.
Agua. Here. This is camp water. This sure seems like more than one cup. You could have saved weight on the cook system, that's for sure. <laughs> The next morning we got a late start. Yeah, for so sure. So we, we got up six, ate, ate, had some coffee, ate some breakfast, and then hiked up. Again, it, how far was it to the top of that basin? Half mile from where we were camped? Something like that. Yeah. We get in there, we top over. I think you're, we're just working down to where we can see, and you go, there's a good bull. If it were me, I'd go find him, and I'd just kill him. Unless you need some more B-roll. We just go sit on. If he's not in a good spot, we'll wait. And then we'll ninja down there. And we freaking shoot him. Oh yeah, baby. You gotta put a good shot on him. I agree with Travis. I said we don't worry about these bulls. I said we'll get the big boy. That's what we're doing. Let's do it. Yeah. I'm writing on you, Tanner. We've been ready to go for 10 minutes. <laughs> That's the last break you're gonna get. <laughs> oh, I can still take breaks. And you guys did not hesitate. I remember you looked at Levi. Levi dropped his pack. You dropped your pack, and you were gone. Yeah, you're like, you're like, we need to switch the lenses. And I was like, mm, they got it on long lens, and yeah. that's a huge bull, so we're not switching lenses. Well, that was just... late, so we knew that any second he could get up and go straight into that timber, we was gonna lose it. Right. Thanks for watching Outback Outdoors. We encourage you to comment below and as always, like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos.